Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everybody. Hope you're all having a good morning. Today we're going to be going over something that a lot of SJWs are basically going after people like myself and other people of the fandom menace. Basically claiming that they're sexist because they're calling Ray a Mary Sue. Well, my buddy Entertainment Hacker, go check his channel out, he's a pretty good one recently just did a video of characters he likes throughout his life growing up who are female. And I figured I'd do the same thing. That way is to clear up confusion, basically. And I'm going to be reading off my computer because I made a list. And I'm going to go over why they aren't, or why they're strong characters, but they're not Mary Sue's. Sigourney Weaver. An alien, aliens, and even, um, Alien 3. She's not a Mary Sue, but she's a very strong female character. She took initiative, she killed the damn creature. She also had range, she had emotional range, she had flaws. This is why these characters aren't Mary Sue's. They have flaws. So yeah, let me also darken down my screen because it's reflecting off my glasses a lot. And there we go. So yeah. She got scared. She was terrified of the alien. And aliens, she has PTSD. Up the wazoo. But she goes right back into it to destroy the aliens. Next one I, that I thought of was Sarah Connor from the Terminator series. Yes, she started out as weak. She was a waitress, terrified when somebody was about to kill her. And later on in Terminator 2, she became this very tough character. She was willing to do anything and everything to stop Judgment Day. It's even revealed in a, or in a deleted scene in Terminator that she wanted to do this. Why not just kill or blow up? Cyberdyne and whatnot. Reese tells her, no, it's a bad idea, but she actually had the thought in the first Terminator movie. She was vulnerable. She was human. She tried being or acting like a machine when she tried to go kill Miles Dyson, but she just couldn't do it. She's still a strong character, but she is willing to acknowledge the wrongs of what she was doing. Trinity from The Matrix and Niobe from The Matrix. Jada Pinkett Smith and uh, I can't remember the actress's name that plays Trinity, I'm sorry. They're also very strong characters. In the beginning of The Matrix movie, it's Trinity who is the person that helps Neo get into this stuff. And she falls in love with him and whatnot, yes. But she's also human as well. She has flaws. She gets her butt kicked by an agent. She gets killed in the second movie and brought back. She gets killed in the third movie and, well, she stays dead. But she's still a strong character. Then we got Star Wars. There are several characters that I like in Star Wars that are female and strong characters. Leia, Padme, Ahsoka, Asajj Ventress, Luminara, Unduli, Ayla Sakura, Mother Talzin. All are very strong characters. Yes, most of them are Force-sensitive. But Leia and Padme, they're not Force-sensitive, yet they can wield a blaster like the... Well, Leia is Force-sensitive, but Padme isn't. They were all strong characters. But they also had their flaws. And you stupid laptop. Anywho. They had character arcs. They had vulnerabilities. They... That... Most of them ended up costing their lives, but, um, it goes to the point where these characters are very strong characters. They also had a character arc. Aayla Sakura, who is the Twi'lek Jedi, the blue one, she, I saw her in the Clone Wars basically like, or she was kicking butt like there was n no problem with it. 
but she also had vulnerability. She couldn't sense Order 66 coming. None of the Jedi did. When she was in Episode 3, she didn't even sense any of the... <clears throat> or any of the clones or the danger through the Force. And she got gunned down and blasted to pieces. Mother Talzin, she's not a woman I would want to mess with. I mean, she could curse a man half across, halfway across the galaxy. All she needed was a lock of his hair. <clears throat> Ahsoka? We all know who Ahsoka is. She's a very powerful character. Rebels, she was even more powerful. Uh, Luminara, who trained the fallen Jedi, uh, Barisafi, she's powerful in her own right. I mean, she has a very deep scent or meditative talent, if I remember correctly. Moving on to Avengers. Black Widow is one of the strongest characters I know. She has a vulnerability. At first, she was very cold. She was very calculating. She, she was very efficient in her killing. But as she got older she and wiser, she began to feel. She had a character arc. She had vulnerability. This is going to be a running theme. All these characters, who are very strong female characters, are vulnerable. It's what makes them strong. Because people can relate to that. They can't relate to somebody who is flawless like Captain Marvel or Rey. Yeah, everybody says, well, Rey does have flaws. She can't remember her parents. That's not a flaw. That's a freaking mental deficiency. She literally lifted up a million freaking humongous rocks to save everybody. How is that not... She wipes the floor with a bunch of... Uh, Centurion or Centurion guards or whatever they're called, Snoke's red people, in episode eight. Yeah, that fight was very weird because they literally erased the weapon out of one guy's hand, but still, she's a Mary Sue. So is in Captain Marvel. We got Wanda Maximoff. She lost her brother. She was broken for a while because she lost her brother. She didn't like, or she accidentally killed a bunch of people in South Africa in Civil War by accident when she lifted up Rumlow or Crossbones to get rid of an explosion. It just took the lives of other people instead of Captain America and her. She's a very, she is a very powerful and strong female character. She goes up against Thanos and wipes the floor with him in Endgame to the point where Thanos is willing to kill everyone and everything just to make sure he, st he stays alive. <laughs> she was going to tear him apart limb by limb and he had to scream out rain fire for his ship to start blasting everybody to pieces. You got Valkyrie who was... Or the Valkyrie in Marvel and in Norse mythology are very strong female characters who bring heroes to the halls of Valhalla after they pass. But they are strong warriors in their own right. Brunhild in the comics, she was granted, or she was an immortal, a mortal, not an Asgardian, but an, a Midgard or Earth person who had a lot of defiance against Odin, the god she prayed to, because she, but she was also a very strong warrior in life, and he granted her a place among the Valkyries, and gave her the power of Asgardians. Basically made her an Asgardian. You got Nebula, who was always trying to please her father, but she became a stronger character in her own right. Because she became heroic. She wanted to do the right things. She was just... Er, her arc carried out in Guardians 2 and Endgame. And even in Infinity War, where she stood against her father. Gamora is the same way. She stood against... Or she was Thanos' strongest... Uh, Assassin and greatest warrior and favorite daughter, yes. Wasp, Pepper Potts, Mantis, 
the ancient one, they're all strong female characters. But I don't want this video to go on too long, so I'll move on. DCEU, Wonder Woman, Mera, strong female characters. Crap. Sorry about that. There's nothing I could do. But Wonder Woman, she was a she's a freaking demigoddess, and she has her uh, wrist gauntlet things. She has the lasso of truth. She has the sword, the shield, all that. She's very powerful. But she was naive in her sh in her movie. She didn't, or she thought that all men were evil because Ares was poisoning them, their minds, and pushing war and whatnot. It wasn't until Ares confronted her and showed her that even without me, they will still crave war and destruction and death. It's their nature. That's the flaws of humanity. To the point where she literally cut herself off from humanity. She just went through time without caring. She let wars happen. She let it all happen. She just stopped caring until in Batman vs. Superman she came back into it. And then, and also in Justice League movie. She came back into it. Because she realized she can't just keep stepping aside. Mara is a powerful character, was introduced in Justice League and then in Aquaman with a very different look. Um, <clears throat> she has a hydrokinesis where she can literally wield water in ways that m other people in the movie couldn't. She could wield anything that was fluid, including wine. She literally made sp wine into spikes, solid spikes, and killed people. But she was also took the initiative to help find the Atlans Trident. Lord of the Rings, you got Arwen, Eowyn, Tariel. I could keep going with different movies, people. I love all these female characters because they're strong characters. Arwen, she's a freaking elf. Almost naturally perfect. But she has flaws. She gave up her more immortality to be with Aragorn. That's a... If that's a vulnerability, she almost died in the movies where her fate was tied to the ring. <clears throat> if the ring survived, she would die. I mean, she's a good character. Or, or Eowyn. She was a very vulnerable character. She feared being oppressed. She feared being in a cage. She feared the fact that people only saw her as a woman. But she was a warrior as well. And she fought. She went against her uncle's wishes, went or and engaged in the final battle before the walls of Minas Tirith. She killed the Witch King of Angmar. Then you got Tariel. I think she was just a character created for the Hobbit movies, but she was still a strong character. But she also had flaws. She f was, or she got her butt kicked every now and then. She let down her guard around Killy, the dwarf. She even fell in love with Killy. But she was a very strong character. She couldn't save him when it came to it. He was killed by Bolg, it was. Yep, Bolg, the orc. This is my video on how you cannot call me sexist simply because I say Mary Sue and, or say that Captain Marvel and Rey are Mary Sue's. They have no flaws. Me fucking Captain Marvel came and destroyed Thanos' ship at the last moment in Endgame. And she basically held back Thanos without even getting a flinch when he tried headbutting her with all six Infinity Stones. He had to take the Power Stone to punch her away. Yeah, sorry, I'm not buying that bullshit. That's what part of what made Endgame suffer. Then you got Rey. Where are her flaws? <clears throat> yes, she is mentally abused by Kylo Ren, but she is so powerful that it overshadows that. 
She's easily manipulative, sure, but she's very powerful that it overshadows that. She's a Mary Sue! So yeah, you're gonna call me a sexist? Get out of here with that nonsense. This crap of people calling men sexist because they don't like Ray or Captain Marvel or any other Mary Sue that is created throughout in the future to come, you guys are full of shit. We can name movies off the top of our heads and characters off the top of our heads. Not me in this case. I had to go by a list because it's a long list. That of very strong female characters. Now, they weren't lead. Some of them were supporting, sure. But they were very strong female characters. That's my video, guys. If you liked it, smash the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. Click the bell to stay up to date. This has been Orange Heart Reviews. Have a lovely day.